and welcome. This is Ruth Hamilton back with another video for Tonic Studios and today I've got the third in the Stamp Club series and this one is called Happy Hibiscus. So there's a very large stamp here first of all. I'll just remove these from their lovely little wallets. As you can see there, this is the way they're packaged. I'll just take this out too because they glare a bit on the screen sometimes. So there you are, there are dies and stamps to match and you can do all sorts of lovely things with these. So we've got the large stamp here, first of all, and lots of detail on there. Then these two smaller ones and then a kind of heart shaped one with flowers on. And then there are matching dies for these, so these ones here can be put in the centre and cut out around some of the outside edges. There's a happy birthday with a, a, a backing plate on it. This heart shaped one fits around this one, this stamp. And then we've got all sorts of other ones here and some of these uh, little rectangular ones will fit around these sentiments as well. So the stamp sentiments say, I love you, thanks, congratulations, it's your day, you make my heart happy, I'm so grateful for you, you're amazing, friend and love. So, without further ado, I shall start stamping and do a little bit of colouring, die cutting and hopefully we'll come up with something nice at the end. Before I start with any new packet of stamps, I always like to clean them because there's sometimes a kind of residue and if that's left on the stamps it means you don't get a very clear outline whenever you come to press it onto your card and it can be quite disappointing. So. Um, I usually just take a little soap and water and a little scrubbing brush and go over them, a little nail brush even, and just give a good scrub and then dry them and then that's them ready. So no matter if they're a big stamp or a small stamp, that's just the way I start off. So this is because it's a rather large one, I'm going to be using my stamping platform, but I suppose that's actually a very good idea to use for no matter what your what size of stamp, because if you don't get it right the first time, Chances are you're never going to get it right if you try to keep stamping on the same spot, so the stamping platform is very good for that. So here we are. I've just set my stamp onto the card. The card's held in place by the magnets. I've got a bit of washi tape on my magnets there because they're very they're very um, powerful and they stick together, so to pull them apart I just keep the washi tape on. So I've got that down and now I'm just going to press the lid on top and that will bring up the stamp and then this is staying nicely in place here up against these with the magnets and then I'm going to take my ink and ink the stamp. I've picked out my Nouveau alcohol markers and I've got three different greens here. I have got a sort of aqua colour and a tealy colour, names on them, yeah. Uh, this is aqua spray and Tuscan teal. I have also got tiger lily um, and these ones are go by number, so 451, 377 and 405. That's sort of yellows, pinks and peachy colours and I'm going to start colouring in so I'll just speed the video up and you can sit back and enjoy watching the colouring process.
And that's my card finished and you make my heart happy and I hope that fits in with the lovely bright colours on the card. Now, I haven't done any die cutting on that one at all but you can see on the cards at the beginning of the, the video that I have used this one a couple of times and some of the others there. Um, these fit very nicely around this but I just thought there was a lot of detail already on that card and I didn't really want to add any more to it because I thought that just looked nice as it was. So. Thanks for watching and hopefully you'll join me again on another video very soon. Thank you. Bye.